I deal teen suicide every day. Every day I'm dead. You know the common denominator I'm finding out? Teenagers not opening up and asking for help. And there's a couple reasons, Jeff. I don't know how. I don't trust people. I, uh, people are judging me. No one's validating my feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And I, I just... <laughs> Coping skills, problem solving skills. You can watch my TED talk. Here's why. If you spend more than four or five hours a day on screen time, you're 70% more likely to have major depression in your life. They say the safe zone is one to two hours a day. I'm not saying social media and the cell phone, smartphones, bad. No, it's beautiful. But you have to learn to have balance and boundaries. Use it for what it's supposed to be. It's not your fault, though. Society has advanced so fast that we've given you this technology, but yet the maturity, your frontal lobe, scientifically, is not mature enough to emotionally understand the consequences that comes with social media depression and dopamine effect. But I'll tell you this, and I'll drop it. Online essentially is harming mental health. Social interaction benefits mental health. Coping skills, self-esteem, problem solving. When the world comes crashing down, it's okay to go in your bubble for an hour, two hours, maybe a day. Give yourself permission to take a time out. It's okay. You know what? Life sucks. Pick yourself up. Having a bad day. <laughs> How are you? Good. What's your name? Mm. You don't know? No way. I had a girlfriend in sixth grade named Emily. I called her Bubbles. <laughs> you want to know why, Emily? No. She was hot. Yeah. She's like she had two T's, yo. Are you listening? Yes. High five. I'm having a better day. What's happiness? I guess the ability to be content with what you have. That's maturity, yeah. What's success? Being happy. Yeah, that's a good answer. Hunter, come here. Jalen, Jenna, come here. Hunter, Jenna, Hunter, you stand right here, brother. I hope tonight. Thank you. I'm sorry, I prayed not to curse. Jenna, come here. Beautiful girl in the whole white world. You stay here, you stay here. We wake up every day. I'm gonna teach you what happiness and success is to a man that lives with mental illness. Wake up every day, same as you. You have a dream? Yeah. Boom, love it. You have a dream? Yeah. Yeah, chest bump, awkward. Okay. Most everybody wakes up with a dream. Three things I think are important. Number one, sleep. Young people need eight hours of uninterrupted sleep, and if you're ugly, you need more. <laughs> Number two, nutrition. More water, less soda. More protein, less Lunchables. You perform better when you're eating more healthy, right? Yeah. Good. Number three, put down your phone a little bit and get more involved in life. That makes sense, right? You wouldn't have a best friend if you were always doing this and not engaging in trust and respect. That makes sense, right? Okay. So we get up, we sleep good, we got our breakfast. We're about to got a game tonight, brother. We're gonna own the day. We're going out on Friday night, yo, whoo -wee. Now, I'm sorry, did that hurt? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hold on. I met a lot of people. At the end of our life, straight line, our purpose, our path, our success, one day at a time. You know, I read a lot of suicide journals and letters. One of the other things I've come to realize is teenagers starting to think, if I can't be perfect, what's the point? What's perfection? Raining tonight, you think you might fumble? You might. Think you might throw an interception? Probably. You think you might suck a couple of plays? 
Probably. You think they might fall down when someone come up the middle and knock you out? Probably. That's okay, right? We're not perfect. Yeah. Thank you. I met a lot of people that arrive at this point, the destination, grandparents, we're retired. And a lot of people look back on their life and they say, I never appreciated the journey. Y'all trying to grow up too fast. Can't wait till I graduate, can't wait till I get a job, I can't wait till I go to college, I can't wait to have a boyfriend, I can't wait to... Who are you? <laughs> you actually brought her an ice pack? <laughs> That's part of the problem with society. Everyone's trying to cushion the blow. Let me mow the lawn so you can go out and play. Let me bring you an ice pack, you stubbed your toe. I know it was, you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for thinking about kindness. It's great when we can just think about people sometimes. We can serve people, we're selfless. So we get to this point, folks, I don't live my life for that down the road. My mental illness, I, I learned thank you. Embrace the wins, embrace the losses, embrace the ups, embrace the downs, embrace the rejection, embrace the success, because you can't win until you first learn how to lose, right? And that makes winning so much more. So we come out of the house in the morning. Attitude, choices, behavior. We want to get down there to the goal. We have a plan in place. We have trusted adults that care about you. But yet we're afraid to go to them. Why? Don't answer. We use our friends, we use our trusted adults, attitude, choices, behavior. Let's go. Life is good. We're go Pick it up, girl! Life is good, man. Good game tonight, good team. Boom, stop! You ever, you ever have failure in life? Oh, yeah. Rejection? Yeah. You care to share with everybody what maybe you've been through? Rather not. Rather, okay, let's just say you had a pet goldfish named Bo. Sounds good. Let's say Bo died. And so life, or better yet, you ever have a girlfriend that dumped you? I have. Oh, good, awesome, high five. <laughs> me too, here, sit down. You just sit right there for a second. Let me tell you something, I had a girl from a junior high school. Mm -mm, yo, man, she had this beautiful black flowing hair, Italian. Bam! She had this beautiful set of eyes. Mm -mm -mm. She dumped me our junior year because she said that I was not smart enough to be able to take care of her. She did. I was crushed. I'm over it now. This is the point. You, you pick yourself up. You know, we're friends on Facebook. And as karma would have it, her husband is ugly. <laughs> now you, on the other hand, girl, Let's go, life is good, got a good boyfriend, good family, got good friends, no drama, good grades, boom, stop, you stay here. Hey brother, when you get knocked down tonight, girl breaks up with you, you lose a game. Tomorrow, next play, we do what? Bounce back. That's right. Now give it to me more of a non-athlete perspective. When we get knocked down, we get back You don't even know what you just did. That's powerful. Let me share with you what he did. Life knocked him down. Life knocks all of us down. We take a time out, life sucks. We breathe, we get back up, we get back in the game. And while some of us go back to where we've come from, don't go there. I'm back in my driveway, because in the morning, I'm going places. He got back in, he focused on where he's going, not where he's been. Now we get to this point. 
and we start to look at our peers and we're like, don't ever play this game because life isn't a race, it's a journey. But it's easy to look at our peers and, and try and keep up and compare ourselves to them. She's smarter than me. People like her better. Her family has more money. They drive a nicer car. She can afford to go to college. She's the, uh... Watch this, brother. Stay here. You ever have any hardship in life? Always. Always. You care to share with us what may have happened? Mm. You don't have to. Okay. You ever have a boyfriend dump you? Yeah. High five. <laughs> Do me a favor and sit down. Give me a minute. Life happens to all of us, right? And sometimes when we're young, and I'm not, I don't want to discount this or say it's little, but you know what? Everybody here has had relationships. We've lost family. We've gone through trials. And you know what? It's going to be okay. But when you're young, it's almost like the end of the world, right? You want to know why? Because when we're young, we live in the here and the now. And it's not your fault. I mean, think, go to an ATM, you get cash, you send a text, you get feedback. You call your mom, she's always available. I forgot my lunch. Mom's here within, like, like she, she arrived before you even called her. Hold on. Now, you picked yourself up. You got back in the game. And you're like, bro, man, I'm going to kick butt tonight. Life is good, attitude, choice. Now, stop. You remember in the very beginning when I talked about self-esteem? Self-esteem comes as a result of your quarterback, you're a leader, you set an example. Self-esteem also comes, you stop thinking about yourself sometimes. Do you know her? I do. And so now you, you found out that her boyfriend, her, they got into a fight, he dumped her, she's crushed, they've been dating for two years. You stop, I know the bus is coming at 4.15, it's 3.30. I want you to go let her know you're there for her as a friend. You're sorry, it's gonna be okay. Get her back in her game of life. You just, yesterday in Dallas, I had a dude, a dude said to me, he said, yo, you tripping. I said, why? He said, he didn't want to be embarrassed in front of his peers. You just did something I have never seen. Not only did you help her out with class and smoothness and confidence, you gave her a hug even. And so you get back in the game. We focus on where we're going, not where we've been. Look at what happened just today, five minutes ago, we started there. Perfection doesn't exist, but it's progress. It's about being better today than we were yesterday. It's about being better tonight than we were in the last game. It's about being better tomorrow than we were today. It's about patience in the progress process. It's about progress over perfection. And now the destination, do not compromise your success for short-term gratification, instant pleasure. Have a plan, execute every day with attitude choices and your behavior, and life is gonna work itself out. Does that make sense? Please give these two beautiful people a round of applause. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Both Thank sides you. of the bleachers, about 800 Thank kids. You. Unbelievable. Thank Absolutely you. unbelievable students. Amazing.